All right, today we are going to be doing a demonstration on the layout and machining of the Ajax C-clamp project. Uh, this, again, is a little bit of a, an advanced replica of it. However, we're gonna be taking this piece of aluminum and this piece of all thread, and we are gonna be creating this clamp. So if you will look at this print, what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be machining the block down to a half inch thick. And the overall width of the clamp is gonna be three and a half inches, while the height of the clamp, if it's setting on the side, is going to be two and a half inches. We're also gonna be machining three 45 degree corners, leaving the top arm square that the thread is gonna be going through. We're also gonna be machining on the base, 45 degree angles. So if you want to hold something that's cylindrical or you need a little bit extra grip, that's gonna be there for you. So this is the threaded piece that's gonna be going through. We're going to make this piece three and a half inches long. Uh, it's gonna be made out of 5 16 18 uh, UNC standard all thread. And then we're actually gonna turn the end down so that way you have something nice to clamp onto. So what we have here is this block is currently set in a vise on a Bridgeport manual mill. Uh, we have a parallel directly under the hard jaw side of the block. And then we have a pusher, which is a cylindrical piece that basically pushes this in one single contact point up against the hard jaw. That is so that we can machine this face perfectly perpendicular to the face that's getting pushed up against the hard jaw. So I'm going to go ahead and start machining this face. 